um, hi everyone. So today I've actually decided to give a review on the Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel 0.7 pen that has so many amazing reviews on Amazon when I purchased it. Um, and I know my camera angle isn't the best. This is the best I have considering what I'm working with right now. Anyway, so just a quick preface, I'm a student and I actually prefer use, taking notes on pen and paper versus I know other people prefer like kind of a, like an Apple pencil and then some form of tablet, so iPad, but that's not me. I prefer pen and paper. I love pens. I've always loved stationery. And for me, finding a good, like different pens serve different purposes uh, depending on kind of what I'm taking notes on or what I'm scribbling. Um, for example, if I'm just trying to write a quick to-do list or something on a post-it, or basically I just want to scribble something down real quick or I'm brainstorming and trying to organize my thoughts, but not trying to keep notes that I would look back and refer to, um, I'm more likely to opt towards a ballpoint pen. If I'm making notes that I do want to look back at and refer to and they're easy and clean and bold and stand out to me for me to understand and recognize easily what I'm trying to look for or remember, then I'm more likely to opt for something that's a little bit more bold and that would be um, a gel pen. So normally I go towards, um, normally my go-to gel pen has been Pilot G pens, um, but I decided to give a go with the Paper Mate and um well here's my review on it so real quick i bought two packs of it i bought a pack that had all black i only have the packaging for one of them and i don't know if this is the i think this is the all black one i'm not sure whatever um i'll insert a picture on on amazon what i purchased and the price and everything so I bought two packs of it. One was all black and then the other was um, rainbow. So these ones, I even had some brown, I had some purple, I even had a yellow. And um, well, we're, we're just gonna talk about it. So I bought these initially because I wanted, to gel, I wanted to try a new gel pen and I didn't like how Pilot G actually, when you write, I could kind of hear like the whole pen barrel or something rattling every time I wrote. And I didn't really like that. And it kind of felt, on, the grip kind of felt uncomfortable on Pilot G. So I went for these, the reviews were great, and I started initially writing with them and it was beautiful. And by that, let me actually show you, I have a few untouched pens. So these are the colors that I haven't really used or haven't used at all. Okay, this is brand new actually. So all the pens that you buy come with this little tip at the top. So I'm just gonna pop that off real quick. This is brand new and I really appreciate that. This is purple here right now, and I have a white piece of paper. So actually, let me kind of reposition my camera. Okay, so I'm just gonna start writing right now with my pen, so. Um... And now I'm gonna rub my finger over it barely any smudging so yeah you guys saw this what i just did here that this was a tester for before a different clip i tried to film but basically you saw how smooth it was you saw how immediately when i rubbed my finger on it nothing smudged um it was inky it was bold it stands out when i apply more pressure someplace for example okay i'm coloring and then i'm gonna just apply a little bit more pressure here I bit like that's more of a pen smudge rather than the ink bleeding a little bit more extra because I'm pressing harder on the paper. And actually, I want to show you guys how it looks like when you highlight um, over immediately. So, sorry, this is kind of hard to do with one hand um, while the other is filming, but you saw that no smudge. I'm gonna take this highlighter here and. perfect no smudge at all so yeah you guys all saw that and you saw how it didn't smudge immediately when i took my finger and rubbed over it you saw how it didn't smudge when i immediately took the highlighter and rubbed over it and overall i was really happy with this pen but here's a catch and here's something i didn't see 
um, on many reviews. I saw a few Amazon reviews on it, but typically when I see reviews, it's like first impression or initial use of the product. I'm about to give you a review of extended use of the product because I haven't seen many in-depth reviews after some time of using this. So I actually bought two packs, right? And I used the black one first from the pack of all black pens. And after a while with, so typically as a brand new pen, as I showed you here, this, the ink level is up here. If you can see that. Um, but around at the halfway point or less than halfway, the ink would stop writing. And I would see the ink actually getting thinner and thinner, but I was like, okay, maybe my mind is just playing tricks on me. Maybe I'm just seeing this. This maybe isn't just real, whatever. But after a while, I could see that the ink was drying up and it wasn't writing. And that the harder I would press, nothing would come out. And I thought, okay, maybe this is a faulty pen. No, I would actually, I took another pen from the same pack after about, I kid you not, one or two hours of writing with the pen, maybe even less. Once again, the pen started to dry up. The ink wasn't flowing as beautifully. The ink wasn't as bold. I'd have to press harder. I was starting to put dents in um, my paper and it wasn't a good pen. I could barely write with it. And I was like, you know what? Maybe that's just a faulty pack. So I go into the color pack, the one with the that had the purple. It comes with brown. It comes with a beautiful um, lime green. It comes with all these beautiful colors. I try to save most of them, but a few I did end up throwing out. But here are this pen, for example. Look how much ink it has, right? Does not write at all. And I'm about to show you right now. Here's my paper. Okay, maybe this one is writing. But the point is it's much thinner and less and I'd have to press harder than I would have initially. There, now I'm pressing hard. Nothing is coming out. And I know that you might say this is still ink, something is coming out, but when you're trying to write and write quickly and trying to get things done, this is not something that you want in your way. Let me see if I have another color to test. There we go. This orange over here, again, it's so full. Like you can see how much ink it still has left in it. And here's me writing. Nothing. This, this turquoise actually, I thought was a quite beautiful color. And while it looks like the ink is pretty low, I believe it still has enough and I'm about to check for you. Actually, no, maybe this one did run out. No, this one did not run out. Okay, let me, uh, I'll explain the story behind that one in a second. Okay, let me look for another pen. Again, this pen, beautiful, bold. Pilot G also has a light blue, but I found this one to actually write much smoother initially until nothing nothing at all like this is such a waste of a pen this is almost full and if we're going to compare it to the purple that the brand new one i just opened with there's barely any difference they're almost at the same level let me uh okay here i actually have another brand new one to compare it to so brand new you can see that it still has the tip there you can see the ink level clearly now I'm gonna line both of these pens up together. You can literally see this, this blue pen that I just showed you doesn't write is in line with a brand new pen that's never been written before. Ink level is the same and this one does not write. Um, this is almost kind of, it, it's blue, but it's like a, almost like a turquoise blue. It's more on the blue side, but it has turquoise. This is another pen that has plenty of ink and barely writes. Actually, this one's kind of writing. Nope, nope, drawing up again. Here's a red that I saved. I don't think this one writes either. And if you're about to ask me, like, well, did... Did you try, I, I looked it up. I was like, what to do when your ink pen clogs? Um, well, 
I put it in hot water, nothing. And actually going back to this green one, um, the so something else I try is actually blowing up into this, like if it's clogged or I don't know, something is trapped. I don't know. I basically tried blowing into this top portion and when I blew into it, ink did flow out and it flew out kind of aggressively because obviously it has more pressure from my um from me blowing into it here but when i tried writing with it nothing would happen so that's kind of why the i believe they call this portion like the stopper ink portion i don't know but you see how the ink has kind of leaked into that clear portion that sits on top of it um and then it's like a little bit basically not smooth here let me okay whatever it's not really focusing well but you can see how that's like there's kind of like a dent in the ink flow but this one didn't write either so i i attempted a few things i even tried like removing this pen portion of it and poking um like a paper clip or something into it to see if ink could flow out and while ink did flow out there so it wasn't trapped i cleared or I, i'm assuming it wasn't trapped it would just dry up whenever i tried writing with it and i initially thought with the black pen that i got from the pack of only black pens i thought maybe that was a faulty pack i thought maybe that was a faulty pen um, well, at first I thought it was a faulty pen, and then when I tried another pen from that same pack, I thought it was maybe a faulty pack. Then I went towards the color ones, and then I saw, I mean, you guys just saw how many brand new, like, barrel, ink, completely inkful pens I just showed you. And these are the ones that I saved. These are not even all the ones that I threw out. I just decided maybe it's a good idea to save it and share it with the world before they try to waste their money like I did. Um... These are only the pens I saved that from the color pack that didn't uh, work. Well, actually, maybe these these black ones, I, I don't know. One of them is from the all black pack. The other is from the color pack, but these didn't work. And you saw for most of them, the ink was full, either completely full or a little bit less than halfway. But regardless, plenty en enough to write with. On the other hand, these are the pens that I've either not used at all and barely used. And I can almost guarantee that within one or two hours or even less, even less. And that's that I it pains me to say that, but with maybe even less than an hour or two of use, these will dry up as well, considering that the ink is literally full. So that's kind of where my negative review comes in is that these pens just were not sustainable and they would run out real quickly. And while a first impression, they're bold, they're beautiful, they're bright, they stand out, they don't smudge, they, you can highlight and rub your finger over it and nothing will get ruined in that sense. They don't bleed through the paper. When you press on one portion of the paper, they don't bleed through. And they, while they still don't do any of that, they dry up and you can't use them forever. And I don't know, again, I, like there's no way, I don't think I could have had two faulty packs of two different types. Um, but I did, and I didn't see many reviews on this. I saw a few on Amazon, though, saying that these dried up real quickly. Another side note, so that that's the main gist of my review. And uh, with that being said, I wasn't happy with these pens, and I don't plan on purchasing them again. Um, now, a few positive things. They were very comfortable to write with. Pilot G, often I find that it's pretty, I don't know, this, this grip portion is pretty painful, um, and while this doesn't look like it'll be any more comfortable or whatever, it surprisingly is pretty comfortable. And I like how this grip, the rubber actually extends up here. I didn't think that would make much of a difference, but it was very comfortable here, which I often do get some irritation like bruising or whatever here if I'm writing for long periods of time um, from the pen and here. And that it was very comfortable holding it basically without with minimal irritation to those areas compared to a pen that didn't have the rubber extend throughout the entire um, portion of the pen another positive thing about this is i love pens where you can see the ink level that's so important to me i need to know if i if i should have a new pen with me at all times i, I know it's kind of stupid but if you don't if you're not sitting in a place or around a place where you have unlimited amounts of pens that you can easily access i want to be aware of the ink level and kind of plan out if i if i should you know get ready to purchase a new set of pens oh actually something else i want to mention i keep forgetting i did find that even with a brand new pen i couldn't really write with just on top of a piece of paper i kind of needed a paper like other papers underneath or like some kind of patterns even even with just the paper and the clipboard i didn't find these pens were very elegant in writing i don't think that's a pen specific thing though but 
just in my experience i didn't find them very elegant when the paper was direct contact with the table i was writing on or in some cases i use a clipboard um so i do recommend having like a pad of papers underneath if you are planning to use these pens i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below i'll try to address them like i said i still kept um and like i said and i showed i still kept a decent number of um these pens brand new so if you wanted me to test something out with them specifically let me know i'd be more than happy to do so and I hope you guys found this video useful for my pen connoisseurs out there or for people purchasing, thinking about purchasing this pen. I really hope that this video did uh, play a part in your decision to purchase them. And if you want me to test anything new out with these brand new pens that I've barely used or try to test something out in terms of trying to unclog the ink or I don't know, not like if, if I can make it wet again, I don't even know if it, it dried up or what, but if you wanted me to try something to get the ones that didn't work but still have plenty of ink left um try to make these work let me know once again i saved them so might as well test it out and uh, i'm not getting my money back on them because it's been way past the return date and i decided and i wanted to save them anyway to make this video so that'd be it thank you so much and have a great day